Okay, in this video I'm going to be talking about the Ethernet configuration window. When you first get a test system from JFW Industries, it is going to be set to our uh, network settings. And we use a standard 192.168.1.1 network. Um, so first of all, uh, if you don't have a 192.168.1.1 network, you will have to configure it through the Ethernet config port, which is an RS-232 port on the rear panel of your system. Uh, same idea with the, uh, the main screen. Uh, this COM port drop-down box is populated by all of the COM ports on your computer. So select the one that you have connected to the rear panel. And uh, in this case, the baud rate is hard-coded at 9600. And uh, then you can connect. Um, these are the commands that are available. The show command sends the uh, show command and shows the gateway right here. And the show eth0 command shows the IP address and netmask. And from here in the network configuration RS-232 mode you can set the IP address, gateway, or netmask to whatever you want. In this case I am just going to change the IP address to from .240 to .245 Okay, you get an acknowledgement that it's been set. Now when I uh, sent that, it automatically updated this uh, window up here. So now if I close my RS-232 port, I can now connect to .245. From the change current IP address section, when you're connected, you can only change the IP address and that makes sense if you think about it because if you are already connected the idea is you're already on your gateway and that mask so you shouldn't be able to change those two things uh, so in this case I'm going to just set the IP address back to 240 and it is sent since my IP address is no longer valid it automatically closes the connection and also when I sent that, it updated this uh, uh, text field here with my new IP address, 240. I can connect to that again. And uh, here's my show, 240, gateway still the same. And also, same thing with RS-232. And that's it. Previously, uh, this was all done through HyperTerminal, but um, we decided to embed it in our own test software. So it should save you guys a step. Uh, thanks for watching the video.